of second degree murder, walked a free man. There is the courthouse right there. And yesterday, HLN After Dark, a woman on the After Dark jury in Atlanta asked this question. It was the last question that was asked. She said her son had been texting her. She has a young son had been texting her about the trial. And she asked the panel, what do I tell my son? I thought that was a powerful question. I want to put it out to our panel. What do I tell my son? And panel, we got a great expert panel today. I want you to, it, it's not just about a black-white issue. Because I, I've heard some people say, well, what do I tell my children of one particular race? I think a lot of parents are wondering, what do they talk to their children about, no matter what the race is? So I want to get to that point. I want to start with Jason Johnson. Jason, what do you think uh, parents should tell their children right now or are talking to their children about right now? Well, it, it depends on their politics, uh, because if I go by social media, there have been plenty of parents who have been yelling at me saying black people are thugs and Trayvon got what he wanted. So that's what a lot of people are going to be telling their kids. But if you actually care about justice in this country and equality and the importance of all human beings, you should be telling your children this. We live in a dangerous country. There are people who have guns. There are people who behave irresponsibly. And sometimes, no matter how well you act, how responsible you are, what background you're from, or what you may do that appears to be common sense, you can be in danger. Unfortunately, that is the world we live in. It is the world we have always lived in. And it is the world we will continue to live in. And that's the truth. We can try and sugarcoat it all we want. We can say fight the system. You can do that. But none of that prevents someone like George Zimmerman doing what he did or anyone else who wants to behave that way. And that is a harsh reality that all children of all races have to learn after this instance. Mm -mm. I I'm Darren, sorry. Hey, Ryan, okay. can I jump Mike. in on this? I'm coming out of my chair. Yeah, go ahead, Darren. Jason, jump in, then I want to go to Mike. Th and I love you, Jason. I really do. But I, I heard it expressed this way, that when you squeeze an orange, what comes out of it? Orange juice, because that's what's inside. And when life squeezes people, what comes out of us is what's inside. So I want to pull the lens back. The conversation doesn't need to be about what a dangerous, evil, ugly world we live in. It's it how do we change what's inside of people? It needs to be a much broader conversation. And that's what I meant when I said earlier, until we look at solving problems and not just symptoms, it's like rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic and the ship is going down. We've got to have a much broader conversation so that we change what's inside of people. It's, it really doesn't need to be such a dangerous world. No, but it well, is. No, but okay, it Mike is Brooks, a dangerous weigh in. world. Mike Brooks, Brooks, let me, hey guys, Mike Brooks weigh in. Let Mike Brooks weigh in first. You know, I have to say, Jason and I, we've disagreed on a lot of things. But Jason, I have to agree with you on this. You know, you're, you're right. It's not about color. It's not about, it, it's about the violence in our communities across the board. I don't care what color you are. Look, when I was a cop in DC, I got tired of, of every night, five young men or women killed on the streets. I got tired of going up and talking to parents and telling them their child was dead. I got tired of that. It gets old. And I guarantee it, the same thing's going on right now in, in other cities, like Chicago. Look at that poor girl who marched in the inaugural parade. She went home to Chicago and got caught in a crossfire. Why? We don't know why. What goes on in the heads of people who want to pull guns and act like idiots? Things have to change across the right. board in all our cities. Ryan, I want to say, Mo Ivory. yes, I want to say that um, listening to Darren and listening to Mike, it's a, it's a combination of both things. It is not just about violence in America. It is absolutely about violence and about race. So you have to have a conversation. There's different conversations. Let's not act like everybody in every household is going to have the same conversation because right. they're not. And right. we're going to have different conversations in African-American households. We're going to mm -hmm. have maybe a different conversation in Hispanic households. And most certainly, there are going to be different conversations in white households. But this is not about changing what's on the inside of people. That's going to take 200 years Thank to you. do that. We don't have time for that. Thank we need you. to change the system that reacts to what happens so that this doesn't happen over and over and but, over again. But what so about what's the on the inside? No, no, what is on the inside? All right, guys, it doesn't guys, have to take let me, Ryan, guys, years. Let me stop Ryan, for a second. On the Everybody, let me stop for a second. Taught. I got, I got to take a break. I got to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to continue this discussion. You can see how powerful this discussion is in our studio with our experts. I'm sure you may be having some of the same discussions. Have them right here on HLN. Give us a call. Tweet us. Hit us up on Facebook. We'll keep talking, and we'll keep coming here live from Sanford.
special edition of Weekend Express. 